Good morning. <laughs> Someone asked me yesterday about custom stairs and they were having an issue about their boundary line in the wrong place and the custom stair was not working. So I'm going to show you guys what um, what I know about or what a little bit of a Revit tip on custom stairs. So here we go. Let me push me off to the side there. All right. Let's go down to the plan. This is our little office, my little office that I'm working in. I'm sitting right here at this little desk. And um, the example he had was this. He had a wall. <clears throat> he had a wall that was coming out, certain distance, doesn't matter. And it had another wall that was shooting off at an angle. And I'll move that out of the way so it doesn't give me the error. Okay. Okay, we all know that this is probably not beautiful, but he had some kind of a situation like this where he had six steps down from a front door of a residence. I believe he was working on residential. And so here's what um, I showed him. Well, we all first, first, um, as far as stairs go, on the architectural tab, stairs right here under cir the circulation group. So if we click on that, we can look immediately on what kind of a stair and the properties it's going to build us and it asks us about it's it all automatically suggests going from one level up to the next level so right off the bat you should you should set this to the height you want and so if I'm going from the first floor down six steps or I don't know what's that three feet down so my base is going to be for the first floor look at this three feet down, so I'm going to say minus, where's the minus? Minus three feet, okay? And the top of this is going to be at the first floor at zero. So you just let it know what the constraints are before you begin. Okay, so if I go to draw this with just a normal run, I could click and pull it, and you pull it past the end riser, and it draws your stair, okay? That's really nice and all, but that's not what he wanted. I hit finish. Look, my handrails are casting shadow. Oh, dear. Maybe I should turn shadows off. Nah, let's just not worry about it. Okay, right now, so take a look. What this is doing is it's just a nice little straight stair. But that, it's going up right there. And so when if you highlight the stair, you can click this little tiny button, which is a little arrow, and it flips it. So the up is on the other end. And so if that's what I wanted, I could move that into place and have a stair going up, ding, 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 right into the, uh, the office there. But his, he wanted it to go from side to side. So let's get rid of that little stair there. Delete that. And back on stair, instead of um, using the this um, straight stair or any of the curved stairs, there's just a lot of different things going on here. But the custom stair that I want to show you guys today, the simples, is using this sketch mode. If you look right there, there's a button for sketch. Okay, create a sketch. So if I click sketch, there's three things that I have to incorporate into this sketch for it to work. There's the boundary, which is the left and the right sides, and the risers, which are the actual steps, and then it needs to know the stair direction. Okay, and it's a line that crosses over the risers. So if I draw my two boundaries, I can just use the line tool if I want to and just draw right along the edge here okay there's a boundary and then I can draw along this other edge now the trick see what I've drawn is a a little short line there and a little short line or fairly well I'll just make it wrong there a short line over there now I switch to risers now the the thing that he had was this I'll just show you guys he had a line that went all the way around. See, I understand the mentality of a boundary because in most everything else we're drawing in Revit, the boundary goes all the way around. But when you're working with stairs, it wants the constraints of the two sides. You'll get an error if we do it this way. So what I'm going to do is delete the two sides. What we need is just a... The, oops! <laughs> I didn't mean to delete the two sides. What I meant was I'm going to delete the, the two ends here. It wants the two sides. So then we switch over to drawing risers. Now I'm going to put one riser right here. 
And you'll notice that's just a nice little short line. It does not have to actually touch the boundaries. It needs to, um, oftentimes I'll use trim and the first riser, I'll make it touch the boundaries. But after that, you don't need to. So let's just copy that line. I'm going to say copy that line down a foot, okay? And then I'm going to repeat that. I'm going to copy it down and tell, take a look. I'm going to copy it down one foot. And it tells me that I have 23. Oh, dear. Um, one, two, three. I'm going to go copy this down another foot. And copy this down another foot. Could I use the repeating command? Sure. But look, I've got one, two, three, four, five. I need one more. Okay. Copy this down to one foot. All right. Now, this line is going too far and this one's going too far. It wants to line up with the last riser like that. Okay. Now we're still missing one thing. See, these do not have to extend all the way over. They could be short. In fact, I'll just prove it to you. You can have tiny little line out of that big. It represents the location and direction of the risers. Okay. So you can have it as simple as this. Now look at this, the stair path. This is just a little line that has to cross over. It's a little blue line if I were to zoom in. It's hard to see. These are green, these are black, and this um, stair path is a blue line. It has to touch all your different risers. And that's all you need to create this, um, this, this stair. So let me just hit um, the finish button and it creates our little stair right there. It's going from the first floor to the second, all the way to the second floor. Great. Now that's gonna, that's not gonna work. I said first floor, the base level is first floor minus three feet and it's going to the first floor at zero. Okay, so now to check yourself, you can just check your little button, finish the stair. There it is right there. Now there's something to check here when I highlight this. Remember how that was going the wrong direction before? I'm going to click it again. So look at, you can see the dashed lines uh, um, underneath the nosing. It says it's going up from here up into the stair and um, toward the building. And if you want to, you can cut yourself a section and check it, verify where it is. So I'm just going to highlight the and so there we go. It's going downward. So that's that's what we needed to know. Cut sections whenever you need to just to verify things. Okay. That is the simplest form of a custom stair. If you've got some crazy situations where you're trying to um, wrap around something curved, this thing, this works as well. If this was a curved wall, that would work. The boundary just has to be curved. But let me know if you're running into any issues. In, down in the comments below and I will address those and make another video for you. So thank you for watching. I hope this helps with custom stairs. Talk to you later.